Hello there, Ken Siri, and welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, and I do hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to take a look at what is coming up for you as it relates to everything all of your blessings, your fortunate events, people, relationships, meeting your tribe being on mission in purpose being in love finding love in romance in friendship in family in business everything i want to see what's coming up for you and so we're going to do we are going to do a basic kind of shuffle okay okay mm. all right some of you are growing you're beginning to bud you're beginning to get to be fruitful this is your be the beginning of your fruitful life you're beginning to you're you're like a, a mature a, a young tree that is mature you're you're a young tree that is budding or you're just you're showing signs of of growth and prosperity now and life also relating to your finances and yourself of your sense of well-being your identity your sense of self-worth your values and so of course you're becoming more beautiful as you grow all right you're you're growing it's like a, a tree and th there are new leaves shooting out or a plant New leaves shoot bursting out of your stem and flowers budding. New th you're, you're growing, you know, life has taken on to you, you know, or you're taking on life. You are taking on life now. You're standing up for yourself. You have gotten used to the different elements around you. You're growing. You're using the different elements and vibrations around you. You're growing as life. You're aligning with your birthright as a human being, which is a right to life, to live, to be, to live full. A full expression of life. A flower. And I hope to see you in the end, by the end of this reading, flowering. Let's see what's coming up for you vibrationally. All right, thank you so much, Cancerians, for being here. I love having you here. Thank you so much for all your support. I love the likes, the comments, the subscribes, the shares. I appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. Um, remember that these are general tarot card messages, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest let it fly. Remember, Cancer, that you too are a part of this reading. So I'd like for you now to focus your intentions in the areas in which you want clarification, in the areas in which you're looking for some answers or some inspiration, all right? And now let us get started by looking into your past energy here. Oops, okay, okay. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started. I want to put these here so you can look at you grow. Look at you grow. Should I name the vi I think, all right, let's see. Look at you grow, Cancer. So, in the past, I'm going to tell you a story. You went seeking and searching for answers. Who am I? Why am I here? What should I be doing? Why am I like this? Why am I so quiet? Why do I do these weird things? Why am I not like the others? Why do I? Why is my soul? Why do I feel some of you are strong empaths? You didn't understand yourself. Why do I feel like this? Why don't I speak up and out more? You wonder, will, will my song die inside of me? Will, will my light ever come out? Will I know what my light is? And so can Siren seek or sorry and so can Siren was seeking answers inside deep questions you were asking within of course within all right 
maybe some of you were turning away from what you are seeing in your external environment and really going inside for answers. I feel you realize what was external you could not depend upon for the answers that you seek. You had to turn inside. And now we have cancer. Hey, mama. Hey, please, let the genders apply. Hey, so cancer, you are here. Beautiful. Now, today. Remembering the days. Remembering where you came from. Remembering who you used to be. N knowing also all that you had to do. Knowing all of you coming together now. This is how I'm feeling. You're beginning to realize that some of the things you went through, all the experiences that you had, is, a, is what make you who you are today. So today you're reflecting on your past energy energies all right and you're seeing that it's what's made you who you are now as the queen you're receiving you're flowing you're well you're balanced you feel fertile and ready people love you you have a lot of love care and nurture to give and you're realizing it's because of your past experiences you're realizing it's because of who you are even your curiosity, your bravery to turn on avenues that many people would not even dare to look down. You decided to dive into yourself to find answers, to turn your back on the, maybe the, 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 the ideas of your family or your external environment and seek elsewhere. And you are now seeing today where you are because of how brave, of how different, of how courageous and sensible you are. And in your future, we have the moon. The moon is Cancerian energy as well. The moon represents what is not being told or seen or revealed or when the truth hasn't been separated from the lie as yet. You know, when there isn't that gray line, it's all blur. If there is something that you're not seeing, I feel like you're being faced with a challenge. There's, there's a place that you need to get through, but it's kind of dark, uncertain. What I'm feeling is that... There's a decision, there's something that you're faced with. It's either a decision, like an indecision with the moon card. You're not sure about a situation. You're not sure what to do. So I feel like you are revisiting um, certain experiences or you're, you're going back into introspection or meditation so you can get that clarification from an internal space for this moon energy. And it is a part of your growth, like everything else is a part of your growth. Once you get through this phase, every next level of you going into from the even moving from the queen to the king of cups, it's, it requires you leveling up to the challenge. So this might be something you have to do. Learn how to meditate, to hold your own space, to be emotionally grounded, to get through whatever is the, the next step for you. Whatever this darkness is, there's something that you need to... You're not facing it right now. It's like you're putting it on hold so that you can introspect. You're, 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 you're turning your back away from this indecision or this middle kind of ground feeling. You're putting it off because you need to sort out the emotions in it first to see what to do. Some people say this is secrets here. But it's secrets where you don't know the answer as yet, okay? You don't know what you want to do as yet when it comes to moving forward, all right? And that's the challenge. You don't know what you want to do, and that's okay. The challenge could just be, where do I go from here? And that's a part of your growth. How do I want to grow? Where do I want to be? Who do I want to become, you know? So that's 
just a part of the growth, getting to know more of you. So take the time to introspect, to learn more about yourself, ask others around you. You know, that's why it is the mystery. It is the mystery of your next step. That's the moon energy. It's like that mystery. You know, in your past, let's get some more clarification. The hermit is Virgo energy. Y you could be the Virgo energy here. Ace of Swords. La 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 la. Someone was blocked or cut off from a higher power, a higher knowledge, a higher wisdom. This could be you um, knowing something and um, directing it where it needs to be. Some of you could be really focusing or you were seeking answers from a higher source to get higher clarity. The Ace of Swords is my Christ Consciousness energy. Do you not see Christ Consciousness written all of this sword? All right, so it's higher knowledge, higher power. It's magical. It's manifestation. It's being swift and direct. It's speaking. It's using the word. It's, it's that Christ Consciousness. Using the word to speak. It's magic and manifestation. You're seeking wisdom from this power so that's what maybe that's what it's this reading is amazing i feel like this is past present and future all entangled in one right now for something great that's happening for you i do feel the star energy i feel one star in the sky as if there's there's some an enlightenment about to come through or a, or, or, a, or a, 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 some kind of a transformation for you it's a part of the process like you're you're leveling up your elevation all right so you're going back i feel you're you're really meditating and possibly using past methods methods you've used to manifest in the past seeking answers and clarity oh hell yes or oh, heck yes or oh, heaven yes you know this is magician energy you making things happen that's what i'm saying there's gifts here um traveling there's also listen i feel uh, time it's your because time travel can be energetic all right so i feel like you're just moving through space through time to get answers i feel like this reading is everything is happening at, all at once for something magical to take place in your life i do feel a star in the sky about to twinkle when an enlightenment take place that's an that's the kind of energy i'm seeing here for you you have the power there's some method that you used in your past that enabled some a clearance for you and you're seeking that you're, you're doing that now i don't know what that is there's and this is the ace of swords it could be the way you speak it could be your beliefs your integrity Knowing who you are with the magician energy, knowing that all is within you, the power is within you. You know this. That's why you're introspecting now. All right, this is beautiful. I feel like something huge is coming up for you. In the past, you did learn of your gifts, your spiritual gifts, the tools that you have to use to live a better life for yourself. All right, with the Queen of Cups energy, you're focused. Look, the temperance. There's something that you want cleared out. Temperance, healing, balance. You want some type of a satisfaction in a situation. Maybe having to do with your money, Cancerian. Oh, yes. You have to remember that. Growing in business, growing wealth, growing your money. All right. We have give. Give unto yourself. So it's like uh, treat yourself well. Rejuvenate. Um, go out in nature, embrace the sunlight, plant a tree, water a, water a flower, give a compliment, give back to someone. This is the, the temperance energy, giving back. I feel you're pouring yourself into something. And this could be deep meditation. I feel like you are traveling in this, in this place, going to a place of where you can heal. All right. Okay. We have, oh, sh you see... I can't. You are. Look at this. You're relaxing. You're resting, meditating. You need. If you're not meditating, all this is telling me that you need to get inside of yourself, into your emotional field. Work out 
the work out the let the emotional blockages or hindrances that you have you need to maybe, maybe sleeping taking a break relaxing taking a break from what you call work even mentally even mentally relaxing letting it go because sometimes we're not physically active but our brains are working so letting things go really releasing tapping into uh, that, uh, that Sagittarius energy with the temperance really going out having fun you know feeling free I do feel you're, you're about to travel energetically this to wind up here and this feels like the land of magic where everything can happen for you oh gosh um, <laughs> you know what I mean so this is what you're doing you're taking a break I know I'm weird you're taking a break, you're relaxing, you're meditating, rejuvenating, introspecting, using your third eye, your, in, your, your, your gut feeling, your instincts, your spiritual sense, your ancestral energy here to call in whatever spirits and guidance you need to get you through this mystery, this darkness, this roadblock, possibly the dark night of the soul, possibly a place in you that needs healing. Oh my gosh, the strength energy, Cancerian. Look at the amount of powerful cards up here for you. The strength. So you're you that's what I'm saying. There's you need to get through the energy. And it requires determination, will. It determines it it, it um requires you to know who you are to get through. And also I feel using grace as well the moon energy and the strength feels like grace okay the presence of grace within your performances here and then we have the queen of swords okay so i'm feeling that what it takes for you to get through this uncertainty this roadblock or this next step in your life is for you to be strong to know who you are to use your willpower your grace to be defiant to be purposeful to be focused right here and that's what's going to get you through this next level that's what i have for you in this reading cancer and i'm leaving it here thank you so much for coming through i wish you all the best thank you for all your love and support on my channel remember that you are all and all is within you much love take care until next time bye bye